Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as Houston News. Today is March the 14th, 2021. We're going to give you all a price prediction for NVIDIA. You guys can see already on my price chart that we're going to speak on and where we're expecting the market in NVIDIA to go so that we can profit from the trap. Now, before I break all of that down, if today's your first time watching our video, make sure you hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel, tap that bell notification. Because in, in all actuality, you don't want to miss out on any of our predictions that we are garnering for the stock market. I'm just going to be real with you. Because the only way that you can actually profit in the market is to be in position right before the price gets there. And if you miss it, you miss it. But for us, we rarely miss it. You guys can tell right here on our price chart that we expected the market in the video to continue to go higher in price. We did an update video in the video on February the 4th. Okay, so let's zoom in on this real quick and let's break down what occurred after we did our price prediction in the market for NVIDIA. So we told you all on the 4th of February, right here, that we were looking for the market in NVIDIA to continue to see higher price. It was the day that we did our video. We already had this prediction ongoing back in January. Okay, mid part of January, we expected the Vitica to go higher in price and for the most part it was just trading sideways that whole time so we did an update on February the 4th with the expectation to see the video go higher in price and that is precisely what occurred it broke out we saw the market go higher we had our ultimate TP price around $588 which is around 7.88% 7.89% right there we were already in position we saw that on the 11th of January this is how you're able to pinpoint where a market is going to go and profit from it. It's just that simple. Okay. So let's take that away. That is over. That is done with. Congratulations on getting that seven, almost 8% from the market trap. So now the question is, where do you expect the market price to go now? Okay. So let's see. This was our area of support into the market in the video. But given the other trading days of the market in the video going lower $480 is where the support area is okay so we're going to hold that there we're just going to simply extend out this trading channel in the market in the video because it is still ongoing now we've broken some areas of support into the market in the video right $514 was the last area of support and let me show it to you so that we can have a firm grasp as to where we can expect to see market restriction. So right here during this period was where the market in the video was holding support. That allowed the market to continue to go higher in price. Well, now this area is going to act as restriction in the market in the video. So we would definitely need to see the market in the video break that to the upside for us to really come back into this trading channel okay five hundred and fifteen dollars now let's take a look at the market in the video on a longer time frame okay so here we are you all can see here that yeah we've seen the market in the video go lower but look at the volume we've definitely seen some market activity come into the video the last what four or five three-day price bars we've seen the increase in volume that lets us know that either one, the large institutions were selling the market in NVIDIA or two, they were buying it while the price was cheaper around $480. What were you doing at that time? Because this much volume definitely tells us that there has been an increase in activity in the market in NVIDIA while there was trading around $480. Someone saw that as an opportunity to break in and buy up these shares. OK, now one thing I can see is very positive on the five day time frame is the fact that we've seen the trap keep price above this area. OK, that's very good to see that. Five hundred dollars to see the market in the video close above that. Now, I'm seeing restriction in the market in the video around five hundred forty five. So it's about thirty dollars away from what we're seeing the market close on Friday. Okay, but looking here on the weekly time frame, it still looks pretty good. 
I mean, the weakness that came in on these two weekly price bars, this one, and then the second one, this one, lets us know that we were able to overcome that on the last weekly price bar. So I'm not looking for the market in the video to go lower as of this particular moment. If anything, we're going to come right back into this trading channel that is drawn on our chart and we're going to see the market move higher in price. It's just that simple. This is the language of the market. Don't let no one else come into the market and try to confuse you because it's not supposed to be confusing. If you see anyone speaking on price charts in a confusing manner, don't watch them. The market is not supposed to be confusing. So what we're going to do on this video, we are going to play a forecast into the market to see the video go higher. Okay. So we said that the new area support is around 480 for NVIDIA. And then when you look at this on a weekly time frame, you can see how the market area of restriction is right here around 548 and around 550 dollars it's not going to be precise but that's the area to which we would expect to see some selling okay i wouldn't be surprised to say 540 definitely 540 um, but we're going to bring it up there to around like 550 dollars okay so this is it. I mean, this is literally what we're expecting the market in the video to do. We're playing the strength in the market. And so long as price trades above $500, no lower to 480, we're going to continue to trade sideways and the market's going to go higher in price. And that's about it. There's nothing else to it into the market in the video at this moment. The long sideways trading channel is still intact. So what we're looking forward to to conclude the month of March going into the beginning half of April is just for this market to do what it's already has been doing. The environment is still the same in NVIDIA. So what do you all think? Do you think the market in NVIDIA is a buy? Do you think it's a sell? And if so, I want you all to tell me where would price be in the next three weeks? OK. And let's not make it confusing because on this particular channel, we're not trying to confuse anyone in terms of where price is going to go. So when you leave your comment, don't leave a confusing comment. We're trying to build a community of people who can read price charts all without being confused. And we would like for you to join us. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.